I've been slowly getting up since 5.30 this morning, putzing around. It's now 5.49, starting to wake up a little bit because I've got a busy day today and I want to get some heel training in before sunrise. By the way, if you guys want some really good dog food, this stuff is great. It's dehydrated, raw, and all real food ingredients. Good morning, my little champion. Putting on the toe socks. I think it's like 28 degrees outside right now. So, so it's gonna be a little chilly this morning. And I love these socks once I get them on. Looks like I have hands on my feet. Got hands on my feet. What you gonna do? Ta -da! It's time to get up in the morning. It's time to get up in the morning. You ready for a good day at school? You ready to have fun today? Ready to learn good things today? Time to get up. What do you want me to do with this? Let me drink it. <laughs> See you later. Mm -hmm. Wanna go for a run? Let's go. Let's go. All right, so for the run this morning, what we're gonna do is do some heel training. And first, I wanna premise just by saying heel training is so complicated. It's one of the most complex, complicated workouts or runs you can do. I mean, just think about it. You've got a heel, and you've got a run, and you go up, and you go down, you go up, and you go down, Super complicated, super complex workout. Okay, maybe not. It's actually very simple, isn't it? You go up, and you go down, and you go up, and you go down, and there you go. Now, of course, you can mix it up a little bit, right? You could do bear crawls up and down if you want. You could do side shuffles up and down. You could go up backwards if you wanted to. You could add in different dynamics to the hill workout. And we'll see kind of what we do today, mostly, I think I'm just gonna run up and down as many times as I possibly can until I'm ready to pass out. And uh, we'll see how it goes. But obviously working out on hills or running on hills is great for so many reasons. Improving your cardiovascular, your heart, your lungs, improving uh, multiple muscle strength in your quads, your calves, um, just improving overall endurance and being able to help increase your speed. It's good for running, but it's also good for just being an athlete or improving every part of your overall health and athleticism. So we're gonna warm up with just some moving type of stretches to get the muscles going this morning. All right, so we're nice and warmed up. This is a pretty nice steep little hill right here. Uh, starts out gradual and then has a pretty steep climb at the top. So the plan is I'm just gonna go straight up this thing. And uh, my goal is to run the whole thing to the top and then I'll jog down and take a break. Run the whole thing to the top and jog down and take a break. The first up and down took me about 4 minutes 44 seconds, just breathing hard, 
just halfway up and even the dogs are breathing hard so it's hard to tell with the camera but the hill is significantly steeper than it looks really feel the lungs working which is a good thing and uh, body's warming up hands are still freezing but the rest of the body's warming up so let's go for round two So this hill up and down is just a little over a third of a mile, 0.33 to be exact. And uh, whew, it's got me working good. I'm really trying to remember as I'm running up to drive my knees up the best I can. It's not always easy. It takes a lot of effort. I'm trying to really keep my form, really work the core lungs are working hearts working like crazy you don't have to worry about that doing it all by itself i just have to try and remember to keep my form good and on the run down it's just a super light light jog on the way down to basically catch my breath i'll take a couple minutes rest and i'll do it again All right, we've got five of these done already and what, mile and a half, about 37 minutes and um, really feeling it, quads are burning and working on increasing strength and speed. So I'm gonna keep cranking up and down this hill as many times as I can. What I'm doing now on the downhills, now that I'm warmed up and I've got some ups and downs, I'm running faster on the downhills now, so um, I'll keep doing that as I continue with more of the climbs. All right, so we just finished 10 hill climbs up and down. And just an hour and 13 minutes has been the workout. About three miles, 3.18 miles, just over three miles. So for me, this has been a really great workout. And whether you're faster and stronger right now and you can do more uh, ups and downs or you can do steeper climbs or you are slower and not as strong and you have to do a less amount of incline and you have to hike a lot more um, all of it's good just the thing to remember by the time you get to the top of the hill you should be breathing really really hard you should have pushed yourself so at the top you are you know you almost don't feel like you can turn around and run down and that's the moment when you should turn around and immediately run down so it's really fun to imagine yourself like water flowing down the hill as fast as you can again wherever you're at if you have to hike down or lightly jog down or hike up you know just make sure you're taking your cardiovascular and pushing it to the next level so that's it for today's training I've got a busy day, a lot of work to do, and before I leave, 
Um, this is a really beautiful area. Um, it's public lands, but a lot of people come out here and shoot guns. And for whatever reason, they think it's okay to just leave all their trash and casings and televisions and couches and garbage out here. So before we leave, we go around and pick up a box full of garbage and uh, next time I come out I'm going to work on getting some signs made that ask people to please pack their trash out and whenever you're out in nature just remember this is God's country this is our beautiful homeland let's do everything we can to take care of it the best we can enjoy your running and your workouts and appreciate you subscribing and sharing this video have a great day